Well, have you ever thought, you know, I'm really good with people. I feel like I'm a good salesperson. Maybe I should jump into realty. Why not? It looks easy enough. Hmm. We got Dan the man, Dan Hamilton, and one of his sales managers, Javon Clark, to kind of discuss some myths when it comes to uh, a career in real estate. Dan, Javon, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, great to be here, Megan. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. All right, let's start with kind of the first myth that people hear. Real estate agent professionals get rich super quick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tom, why are you laughing? <laughs> that, that, that is one of the biggest myths that, that is not true. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of times you might see agents and they drive like, you know, nice cars and, and everything out there. But interestingly enough, the average agent sells about seven homes a year. And if you do the math, that equals about $52,000 total gross income. Mm -hmm. And off of that, they pay their splits, they pay their health insurance, taxes, all that kind of stuff. So on average, most agents are not rich quickly, especially quickly. It takes a long time to kind of build up. Over time, you can definitely develop a really good income, but it, it, you have to pay your dues and it takes a lot of time to, to get there. It's not going to be like I'm selling one home and then watch me roll. It's, it's a lot of, work. and the marketing too, that y'all put into it, you do a lot of your own marketing and picture to, you know what I mean? So it's a lot of expenses that I don't think people realize. Right. Yeah. you I mean, you're really, you're self-employed, even though you go, um, you join a brokerage, uh, you mm -hmm. become a 1099 employee, which means all your, your, you pay your own taxes, you pay for your own expenses, your marketing, all those things that all comes right off the top. All right. Let's, uh, debunk or confirm myth number two, a non-traditional schedule means, hey, guess what? I don't have to work as much. Maybe I get to work a little bit less. Yeah, Javon, take that one. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, so you're going to get out of this uh, business what you put in. So if you are not working um, or working limited hours, you're going to have limited pay. You can only be successful mm -hmm. in this job if you put the effort and time in. And two, like realize when are you available to look at homes? Is it, you know, normally 12 to five? Do you need to go after work? Do you have to do it on weekends? So you got to keep that stuff in mind too. It's not just like, yeah, I'm going to work nine to five and we'll call it a day. Correct. Uh, you got to realize people have jobs so they can't look at houses while they're working. So most of our time is after work and weekends because that's when people aren't working. So you definitely have to keep that in mind. Okay, this one may be my favorite. I like to look at houses online. So clearly I would love being a realtor. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to take that one? Go, go ahead, Javon. <laughs> that's your favorite. Okay. Yeah, Dan and I were talking about this earlier today. Uh, a big portion of our job is managing people and managing the process. Yes, the house is a key component of it, but all behind the scenes is managing people, their expectations and the contract. So that's actually a bigger portion of it than opening doors. So if you just wanna open doors, uh, this is probably not the right uh, business for you, but if you love working with people and negotiating contracts, definitely the right business for you. Well, that's it. Well, Dan, if there's someone watching and they're like, all right, I kind of knew those, you know, we were going to debunk those, but I really am interested in getting a job in real estate. Yeah. What would your suggestion be? Yeah. Uh, so we, we loved it. So we're hiring uh, at Hamilton and company. We've got a careers page. If you go to mygreenvillehome.com, pull down the resources tab and you can see careers in real estate. Um, real estate sales is not the only way to, to get into to real estate as well. There's real estate investors, there's appraisers, there's um, all kinds of different options. And we'd love to, I mean, we could chat with, with anyone who's interested in a career. Um, we do a lot of career counseling, you know, sometimes yeah, counsel yeah. people out, sometimes counsel uh, people into the business, but it's a, it's a fun job. Um, but it really takes someone with a lot of grit, a lot of determination and um, the ability to kind of get knocked down and, and jump back up again and, uh, and roll with the punches. Sounds like a song, Dan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 